guys how to have a good day. A few of my goals this summer are to try new things, get new hobbies, go new places, experience things that are around me that I've never experienced before and I've lived in Georgia my whole life. Now that I'm off at College Alabama, <laughs> I want to, you know, venture out. I feel like there's so many things in Atlanta or around Atlanta that I've never tried before. This is just like one of the biggest cities in the United States. So I'm like, what am I doing? So that's what we're doing today. I'm trying new things with me. Woo! First things first, I'm going to get a little workout in, get a little pump in. Working out first thing in the morning, it's honestly changed my life because it sets the tone for the day. It gets your endorphins up, gets you going, you feel good. You know, it's just like that little like, ego kick where you're like, you know, I worked out this morning, like, I'm feeling good. My dad and I set up this little garage gym the other day because I had a really bad experience at Crunch Fitness. The guy was an ass for me. So upset because I was having a great morning. He killed my vibe. And then I came home and my dad was like, you know what, let's go buy a treadmill. We've been wanting to buy a treadmill for like home just because it's convenient. You know, like he works from home so it's easy for him to just like come out here in the mornings or like at night. For him, he like boxes and uses weights. It's like all we really need. And we have like he was like, let's just do it today. Like, we're gonna do it. So, my dad is an angel and the best human alive. This is why my standards are so high. We set up an entire set of a whole gym. Here we have like a TV set up. I just did that. <laughs> Don't understand how the fitness gurus talk while they're like doing a workout, like a workout video, because I'm like winded. Okay. Let's do it, y'all! You wanna do 30 minutes on the treadmill? He told my mom I would be over in like an hour and a half. That's not looking too good right now, considering I'm just now starting my workout. <laughs> this is why my time management is so bad. <laughs> I look like running. <laughs> the best way to do a treadmill workout, just blast your favorite songs ever. Don't think about what you're doing. Because if you think about what you're doing, and if you look at the speed and time and distance the entire time, you're gonna be miserable. Seriously, because that's me like 90% of the time. Just blast your favorite song. Listen to the words. Just vibe. Vibe. Just vibe. The little mom. You're doing something good for yourself. You should be feeling yourself. Be proud of yourself because if you don't love, the minutes go by a lot slower. <laughs> I'm gonna finish my workout. I'll see you on a gif. Trying to be a dancer, y'all. I love my fucking tricks. Sir, he did me pasta and lobster. I hope you have a good day. I'm gonna see you ready. You should be so well. Just let me pick up my. I got it. How'd I do? Okay, I'm making a super quick, easy protein smoothie. I just used this organ protein powder. I love this protein powder. The vanilla one is also really good too. And then I just put some almond milk and then half a frozen banana in here because I don't want to get like too full since I'm about to go to lunch. So I just wanted like a little something. Also, I have like a raging sweet tooth. So this is like perfect for that. The best part, I've been on like my little smoothie kick lately. I literally have like never been a smoothie person. I'm always like coffee, matcha in the morning. But lately, I have been loving making my little, like putting my own twists on like smoothie recipes. It's so fun. Like you have so much freedom. Oh my God. It literally tastes like a milkshake. Literally a milkshake. If you have a sweet tooth like me and you're trying to get your protein in, in the other smoothies I've been making, I'll put chia seeds and hip seeds and all this extra stuff, but I didn't really feel like doing that today. Okay, I'm gonna go shower and we're gonna get ready. I'm getting ready to go to lunch with my mom. We are trying a new place in Atlanta. It's called Del Bar. I'm gonna do some makeup. I'm excited. 
I just followed this new food account on Instagram and this girl tries all these like different places and restaurants, coffee shops, and she posts about them. And it's so nice because I would have never known they existed. So I'm so excited and the food looks so good. I just love a good lunch, like a good girl's lunch. And I haven't seen my mom that much since I've been back. So it's gonna be fun. Currently halfway through my makeup. I'm doing a little get ready with me on TikTok. Go follow me on TikTok if you haven't already. But I'm doing pretty much light makeup today because it's pretty hot out So I don't want it to like all sweat off, but I'm already running pretty late We told each other that we were gonna be ready at like 12 31 and it's 1 I have to drive to my mom's house still and she lives like 30 minutes from me. So Okay I just called my mom. It's so funny because it's like where I get it from She's like the exact same stage as me and it's 2 30 so this is why I'm late to everything. Got it from my mom <laughs> in my jeans. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair. I got my eyebrows laminated back in Alabama and I loved it and it lasts me actually a really long time. So I need to find somewhere here in Georgia that does good laminations because I want it again. Cause I feel like when I put this gel in my eyebrows, like they look exactly like they did when they were laminated, but I didn't have to put the gel in. I would just brush them up and you don't see like, kind of the texture, which I mean, who cares, but it was easier getting kind of hungry. It's like an hour away. Guys, this powder is stupid. It's so good. L'Oreal Infallible. You have my heart. 130, True Beige. If you were curious. A little light, but I like when my under eyes are really light because it makes my eyes pop. Makeup is done. Let's get an outfit on. Woo, this is the fun part. Currently, my little setup I have, this is the office. And I have a bunch of these little racks I just got from Target. And I just put all my clothes here for right now, like until I go back to school because I'll probably be using these. It's really convenient. Look, so everything like organized. So like down here, like black tops, colors. I still have a lot of organizing to do, but I recommend these racks because they're actually a lot more helpful than you would think. Okay, let's get dressed. Maybe I'll do a little transition. Yeah, let's do a little transition. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. All right, ladies. I love this. I think this is what we're going with. Mesh dress, a little scandalous, but who cares, right? Never see these people in my life again. So I'm gonna wear the damn dress. I love the see-through and like the slit. It's elegant and sexy in one. Mwah. Bye guys. <sighs> Brand deals, am I right? But yeah, this is like fucking incredible. Who do I think I am? I'm gonna go buy shorts because I don't feel comfortable being like completely ass out at dinner. Um, usually I would just depending on the mood, but I don't. I just don't think that's the vibe today. So I just feel so like mature right now. I look like a grown ass woman. But yeah, definitely gonna stop and get some shorts. We don't need the ass out all dinner, like all over the city. You're gonna be like. Where's your mom? And I'm gonna be like, oh, she's right next to me. My mom's gonna be like, yeah, that was me when I was her age, so I don't really have much to say. Ah, oh, so difficult. Y'all wouldn't even believe what time it is if I told you. I'm trying to guess what time it is right now. We were supposed to go to lunch at 12. It's 4.45. It's a problem. Oh. Munching on a little Georgia peach. I got from the farmer's market the other day. Yeah. In Marietta, Georgia. Oh my god. My ex is calling me. <laughs> oh my god. What's going on? I have a fear of not having lip liner on in public. That's gonna have to be redone. ASA. They hit my quad. This is my mom, everyone. Look how gorgeous she looks. Like, are you kidding me? You look so cute. So we're finally off to our lunch. <laughs> <laughs> and we're off to lunch, and it is, let's see what time it is, 
5 20 p.m. Yeah, that's how we roll. That's at 53, I'm sure. My mom is literally my twin, <laughs> like we're literally twins. And the girlies are out tonight. The girlies are out tonight. That's the better thing your favorite baby. Girlies are out to play. Girlies are gonna play a little tonight. And hopefully get us some free drinkies. Free drinkies. Come <laughs> on, oh, boys. Free drinkies. Hey boys. <laughs> How far are we? We are. We're gonna get there at 619. We're for lunch. 52 minutes away. I didn't know it was that far from you. Yeah, well it's five o'clock traffic. True. It's usually it's like usually, 27 yeah, minutes. It's usually. We're keeping a positive look because we have nothing to do. Like we literally have no plans. It's summer. Just go with the flow. Just go with the flow. We didn't make lunch, so hey, we're gonna make it dinner. We're gonna make it to dinner. The place we're going to is actually in Alpharetta, not Atlanta. I thought it was in Atlanta. I'm pretty sure downtown Alpharetta has like nightlife and places to walk around and stuff. So get around, they've got like shops. Oh, cute! Yeah, I haven't been there since then. It's fun. Okay, cool. I'm excited. So mm -hmm. we're trying something new. It'll be fun. Got all cute. I'm gonna take some pictures. Hello, girls' day or girls night. Day. Love you. Love you. Oh, they got ballet. Okay. Oh. Hi. Hey, okay guys, we just like got here. Me. Look at how pretty this is. Enjoy. Thank you. Mediterranean food and everybody that's came in is like reservation for whoever we just didn't make reservations and I'm pretty sure it's reservation only but can you help me talk <laughs> but basically we walked in and we were like this out and he was like we can work something out for y'all I don't know how but angel okay so we're starting off with the pita bread and then this dill lavine is what it's called it's a spread and so you can also get some veggies in this as well which is what I'm gonna do because I'm gluten free but it also came with this little plate too we are just digging right in and look so cute like the veggies <laughs> Yeah. Hey, Tommy. <laughs> I was like, can you hand me some bread? And she picks up the whole thing. Okay. Okay, our little entree just came out. Not really little. Look at this. This is a pile of rice. I'm so excited. This is the salmon kebab. And we're sharing this because we like literally got full cool off of the appetizer. So smart. Just share. Okay, try a bite. Let's try a first. The rice with the salmon. Do you follow? Dig in there. Oh. oh that is hurt. Okay. Here's my little bite. Really? Mm. Really? Oh my god, that's salmon. I love salmon. I love salmon. End game? And now Marissa's trying it. Oh so god. Oh, I should have gotten salmon first. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so he asked for like some salt for our meal. <laughs> We're not making fun of anything, but he brought us back. Like yeah, we thought like our meal, like we just needed a little bit of like salt. And plus, you and I love salt. We have a really bad salt addiction. And this is like the Mediterranean. I can't remember what he said it was called, but it's like their seasoning, their version of salt. Like if you want some flavoring or seasoning. And so we're gonna try it. I will probably love it because I love any kind of seasoning. So then we also got some aioli to put on the salmon for just a little more flavor. Other than that, everything is super good. We love our little black salt. <laughs> We're like, can we get some salt? He was like, what do I do? He handed it. <laughs> he handed it to me like that, and I was like, 
What am I doing with it? Okay guys, leaving dinner. Huh? Great experience. Cutest restaurant ever. Great food. Great food, great environment. Mm -hmm. Music was playing. Great service. I mean, we were there for three hours. Really? Yeah, yeah we, had we had a good time. We had a great time. Great time. Okay, so we're gonna start making this a weekly thing. Mm -hmm. So join us. Join us. Stay tuned. <laughs> So, we have a very early morning tomorrow. We have to wake up at 6.30 and we're driving down to Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Can I get a roll tide? Roll tide. Roll tide, roll. So, it's not a fun weekend though. It's a hard We are going to pack up the rest or a majority of the stuff that I'm moving into my house that I'm living in next year. I have like a bunch of clothes there. I still have to pack up and we're gonna put in boxes just so it's ready to go for when I am moving because I kind of left it like, I'm not gonna lie, I left it a little bit. <laughs> Is this oh gosh. We're gonna get down there, knock it out in a few hours, then come back the same day. This morning. This morning. Yeah. Oh, I couldn't see where your eyes were. I think your eyes are closed. Watch it through there. Because the light, every time the TV light changes, that light changes. It does. We will see you guys bright and early. Bright and early. And Starbucks. Then. Starbucks. Mwah. Good night. Get ready for bed. Take the makeup off. Do the skincare. The worst part to do, but it's the best part because I feel great after. I'm just so tired. I know, but then you wake up and your eyes are like closed shut from your right. mascara. Skin feels gross. Breaking out. All over your pillow. <laughs> so not fun. Also, I just got this. I mean, it looks so terrifying, but this Neutrogena makeup remover. Like, bomb. I've been using Garnier Micellar Water forever, but this does so much better at taking your mascara off. Your waterproof mascara, girly. Definitely get a bomb because it, like, melts it away. I don't know where I've been my whole life because this would have been helpful. God, I want to take this dress off. It's like one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> She's still in her dress. Like, mom, why are we? What are you doing? Good. That's funny. So uncomfortable. Well, take it off. Look at this stupid makeup on. <laughs> All right, guys, the whole gang came to Bama, got all the rest of my clothes. Actually, these are all clothes that I'm donating. Look out on my Instagram because I'm going to be posting about giving away a bunch of clothes. So go follow me on Instagram and I'll post some of my stories about that. But we knocked it out. We got here at like 1030 or 11. Now it's like two o'clock and we're going to go eat and go back to Georgia. Good work, everyone. This is my dad's car. We had a lot more work than we thought. These are clothes that I'm taking home like for the summer that I didn't bring the first time around. So yeah, but we're tired and hungry. So we're gonna go eat. Okay, I'm taking them to my favorite lunch place ever. One last little lunch until I'm officially home for the summer, even though I've already been home, but. Look at this beautiful masterpiece. What did you get, Dad? Veggie quesadilla. Broccoli salad. Chicken salad chicken sandwich. sandwich. And a chicken salad sandwich with hot cheddar pasta. Hot cheddar pasta, baby. Guys. I am so excited. You have a urban cookhouse near you. You need to go and try the very good salad. And you have to get the orange roll because this is the best thing ever. Bunch of empty plates. <laughs> <laughs> Take your time, fall in love. Bye bye, Bama. See you in a month or two. Bye, Bama.